Hey loves, welcome back to my space. If you're new here, thank you so much for dropping by. If you are in OG, I see you. So guys, thank you so much for dropping. Today we're going to do another DIY and we're going to create this wall decor. Just see that. So all we're going to need is a frame and strings and the the normal strings or strings of your choice. For me, I used, I mixed um these uh, threads. These are the ones that you do macrame with and the normal thread and then this frame of mine is just um a recycled mirror frame you know those ones that hold your mirrors so my mirror broke and i'm going to recycle this because we don't throw away anything on this channel here we don't we don't we don't we recycle killer kitu killer kitu so we're going to use this and i'm going to paint it black because i want my frame to be in black so I'm going to use black spray paint, but if you have the normal brush paint, the one that you use a brush to, to you use a brush to apply, yeah, it's much easier and better. But for me, because I had spray paint, I'm going to use spray paint. So as I said, the frame is all we need is our major uh, thing here, and then the spray paint, and then the yarns. This day away is super, super, super simple. Uh, the fr this frame is from Amira as I said so it's not as strong as you should it should be so I'll recommend if you can reinforce the corners um, or use the frame that we use for canva making yeah you know the ones that we use to, to paint when you're painting something yeah so see um, I've painted it black I tried reinforcing it because as you can see it's it's moving yeah so paint it black try making it um not move and then let's start this video let's start the video because eh, this one is going to be a bomb so let's start the video so since you have your frame in black or in the color that you want it to be i know some people want it to be in brown here's what you're going to do this is how we're going to do our thread our yarn um frame so we're going to tie a knot at the beginning because you must have a beginning a starting point and then make sure that it's super 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 um tight yeah when you're doing this then you roll it once and then at the same spot and then you put it back you drop it down and then roll again you see what i'm doing i'm doing this um it's like tying a knot but not really tying a knot but you see i'm doing it twice at the bottom and then at the uh, at the top of the what at the, at the at the top of the frame you see what i'm doing um you put it in go down like you put it you place it up then go down then do another um, a reinforcement like that and then the thread goes down and then it comes up to the other side am i making sense like what am i even trying to say i'm trying to say that once you, you do double double threading at the top and then like that and then your thread will come on the other end ukuchini <laughs> ju like do you see what i'm doing as you can I, I know you can tell i'm trying to to find words to use on these but i can't hey yeah yeah i'm unable to to make it clearer than it is now just see so i'm going to repeat you go down and then before you take it to the other end of uh, to the other side of the frame you take it uh around the the frame at that point and then you take it down Hey, hey. Yani what I'm trying to say is unafunga kwanza unazungusha twice zungusha twice like make sure before you go to the other end you've gone through you've gone around the frame twice this makes it um have this vibe and makes it look even better because it's like you're confusing the threads you see what I'm doing 
you can tell at the middle at the center of the frame already you can tell that these reds are forming some cute um acute um illusion somewhere yeah because once you 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 put up you've tied um the bottom the that part like what i'm doing now once you've done that if you place it if you just go down straight down it won't give you that vibe you know what i'm saying so that's why we're taking it twice we're doing it twice at the bot at the top and then going down at the bottom and repeating the same same thing you feel me you feel me when you're using a frame that you're recycling, as I said, this frame was not strong at all because it was a recycled frame. So I made sure I reinforced. I tried my best. I tried my best. So when you're, when you're using your frame, make sure that your threads are super tight. Don't just leave it um, weak. Make sure that it's super, super tight. Um, and to achieve the tightness, you have to make sure that when you're when you're rolling the thread on the frame you pull pull your thread pull your yarn pull your strings pull whatever you're using another trick another hack when you're using when you're doing this ensure that the thread you're using is small don't have um a very long thread because as you can see it's con it it's it's going to shikana like I'm telling you guys, if the thread is long, it's going to confuse, confuse you. It's going to mess you up because it's going to shikana. It's going to wrap on itself. And it's super, super hard to undo that, especially when you've already started working on your frame. You know, you get what I mean? So I'll, 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 I'll advise that you use um, a manageable size of thread. And then don't worry if it it's it it gets finished ama ishad at this uh the middle of your work you're going to just do a like a small what is it called like a small note and continue do you do you feel me do you feel me do you understand just look at this i know there's a lot of work it requires a lot of patience patience because we hey kuzunguka zunguka tu hivi you see Imagine all the thread that you have already zungushad and the, and just look at the ca, the capat that you have covered. <laughs> so you can imagine you can imagine how long you're going to take before you finish your entire uh, frame. And if you want a larger frame, go for it. Go for it. Don't worry. Don't worry. So for me, I decided to use the macrame yarn. You see, yangu it has the shad. You see, that's just see, that's the end of this yarn. And the way I felt it was big. So what you're going to do, we are going. I'm going to show you how to to just add a knot. But for me, I felt like um, I really needed to mix colors. Yeah. So at what don't worry. You just fold and then you you tie like a little knot. Add your new thread, or you can just um, uh, what you can just um, funga it. Like make sure you tie a very very strong knot. At the end if you're lucky enough for your thread to get to end at the bottom like there like where mine has ended if you're lucky enough you can just tie a knot and leave it at that and then start afresh start a new um yarn rolling i'm a, a new yarn making uh making uh taking yarns around the frame without um making any knot but if it's if, if your yarn ended at, uh, got finished at the center, I'm at the middle of the frame. You, you feel what I mean? Not at the end, at the middle, you can, you can tie a knot. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you understand? So for me, I felt like uh, I just needed to tie like a small knot so that I can have continuous thread. My, my thread can be continuous, but you don't have to do this. If, if it's not at the, uh, at the center of the frame, you can just tie a knot and start afresh. And start afresh. But for me, the knot came in, and then I made sure that I cut the, the, the string that is going way out of the, out of, uh, the frame like not to so that i can have a clean a clean edge yeah? so don't leave it hanging and then as i said before you use the thread that is manageable so 
this one was too long and I had to fold it kwanza so that I can be it, it can be manageable because it's not easy to move along with yarns they wrap at each other and it's very 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 hectic it's a struggle to unwrap them once they wrap it's a struggle i'm telling you it is a struggle to unwrap yarns that have um have wrapped themselves together so yeah use a manageable um string and we do this till the end but for me as i said i mixed colors so i figured to a point and i was like mm, i have to change this color but if you want a uh, same color go for it if you want same color go for it for me i i was like yo this white this off white is too much for me i just need a pop of color because you know me you know me in colors i must have something popping in that house like this uh this is an improved macrame it should it's 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 kind of you can do this as a macrame or whatever uh, decor but for me i was like hey let me just get the wool yarn so you know i started with um i started with the macrame yarn then when i got here i was like yeah time to get wool yarn and just have a pop of color because why not why not so there's this what i did i went in with my yellow mustard um um thread or yarn wool yarn to be specific so don't say oh i don't have macrame uzi so i can do this because it's achievable with any type of yarn that you have it is achievable you just have to start you just have to start you just have to start so don't tell me you have boring walls when i'm doing all these diys they're super cheap super affordable i mean because this yarn is goes for like a hundred bob yeah is it a hundred bob yes the yarns goes for a hundred bob the the frame is recycled or you can make uh one at a very cheaper cheap um price and then your walls will look a bomb so guys this is what you we have like at this point just look at how this frame is coming to life just look at how the frame is coming back to life just look at that oh look at that and you're done just like that we're done we are done so you're going to take these towels and at this point you are done look at that look at that look ish this one this is super super cute just look at that it looks like strings string frame like it those strings look so cute so 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 cute and then why not just look at that i took it to my walls and this is how it looks this is how it looks ish man i just love this so guys try please try and let me see let me know if you love this video share it so that you can help someone else till next time i love you guys bye bye so cute bye